what are the big problems that we're trying to solve, right? Architecture, architects and every and the architectural fields that what I call what I call all of these fields that we have, um, they they are really moving away from just being a service profession. They're really moving ahead towards becoming towards thinking about what's the future, what is the future of buildings, what is the future of cities, et cetera. So we are, we are looking, we are observing these trends or big direction and shifts. And um, we have, I, for example, an advancement, an advancement council or advisory board with um, over um, 35 um, owners, principals and presidents of um, firms in the region, architecture and design firms, construction management firms, et cetera. And we brainstorm every year. So we brainstorm for two times per year. And um, out of these sessions, um, we have ideas that are coming out that are um, that we then discuss with our faculty. Our faculty is part of that process. And out of this came at some point, this idea of um, a, um, first of all, program, um, an ed educational program um, that is focused on urban design. And the direction to, towards future cities, smart cities, is really what is in the moment the hot topic in our, um, in, our, uh, in our field. But I do think it's not just smart cities. Smart cities is really just a technology piece in it. What is much more interesting is how do we create healthy cities? And, um, and that, of course, ties into our, um, um, into our merger with Thomas Jefferson University and the opportunity to work with the Sydney Kimmel Medical College with the College of Population Health, um, with all of the other colleges that we have that are in the health disciplines. Um, and we are really bringing together for the first time these, all of these dis disciplines together with the built environment um, to look at the built environment at what, we, at what we all want, which is an environment that allows us to live healthy lives. 